Hey folks, we're so glad to be back with another great video tutorial that will come in handy to many of you creatives and creators, as it must be one of the most popular and long-living trends in the whole design industry. We will learn how to create an editable vintage text effect using Photoshop layer styles. Just check Creative Market. You will see hundreds of eye-popping products featuring retro and vintage text effects. Any ideas why there are so many of them? Because they are incredibly popular, actually. So let's not waste another second and set our beautiful text effect. But first, it's vital to note, when we work with the text effects, the font choice is everything. Because even the most sophisticated and insightful effects may be ruined by the wrong selection of the typeface. That's why I've taken my time and found the perfect font for today's tutorial. It's the Titanic Display by Nick Curtis, designed in the fancy Art Deco style, which will be perfect pick for our design. Grab a link in the description. Now we're ready, and we'll start with creating a new document. It's up to you to pick the dimensions, but I will use 3000 by 2000 pixels. Let's give our artboard a proper name to keep the document in the perfect order. And let's start with dropping a nice background, right? A vector shape will do the job, just uh, fill the whole artboard with it and uh, set a nice solid color feel. I picked this beautiful yellow with the vintage vibe, because I already have a contrast color for the text in mind, but your combination may be absolutely different. Now. To make these vibes even stronger, let's create a vignette for our background. I will use the gradient tool for this purpose. Make it radial, reverse it, set the scale parameter to your liking and edit the color selection. Yeah, something like that will do. Now we just switch layers blending mode to soft light. Duplicate the gradient layer to create a light spot in the middle. Go to the settings and turn off the reverse option. Now we pick a color much lighter than the background. Yeah, that looks good. And let's tweak a bit scale parameter. Great, that's the background we'll be working on. As the final touch, I'm adding the noise filter to make the retro feel even stronger. 3% will be enough. Now, it's time to test our font. Check out how good it works as a title. And it looks even better with the all caps option turned on. I figured that out about an hour ago. Convert the font to a smart object so we can freely transform and modify our title and still be able to edit text after that. Besides, we'll use the copies for all further manipulations. Create one to start and name the original layer accordingly. We don't need it to have any fields, so we set it to zero. And not to lose it after all manipulations, let's label it with a green color. Now, back to the copy. Let's name it Feel, and you already know what we're about to do with it. First of all, let's pick a beautiful color for the title. Look how good this red works with the yellow background. Let's keep it this way. Now we create a copy of the fill layer. Title it Stroke Light. Obviously, we're working on a stroke for our text effect. Turn off the fill and go to Layer Style panel and open Stroke Style. 6 pixels will be perfect. Just don't forget to set the color, which should be close to the lightest grade of the gradient fill. Add some depth to the inner shadow style. Set it to your liking and change the opacity to something like 40%. Also, I change a global light parameter to define it for all further layer styles of this kind. We'll use the inner glow style with screen blending mode, 15% opacity and noise which gives vintage vibes to the whole title. Also, I set the size and range parameters. 
The last thing we'll do before building 3D depth for the text is duplicating the stroke layer to create another, darker stroke. And that's precisely how I name it. Layer styles will be different, specifically no inner shadow style, so we can change color in the stroke style to the darker one. Keep the inner glow style with no changes. But we can't see it, because it's underneath the light stroke layer. So, let's move stroke dark to the right for a couple of pixels. And we're ready to create 3D effect for our beautiful vintage text effect. So, create a folder and call it 3D. Place a copy of the fill layer to this folder. Clear existing layer styles from it and set new ones. For color overlay, pick a gray that is lighter than our background. Also, we add bevel and embos for this realistic 3D effect with the further structure and shading. The color pick is very important at this stage, if we want the depth to look realistic. All we have to do now is create a copy of this layer with the one pixel pen down and right. It's also important to place the copy of the original 3D layer beneath it. After that, just repeat this operation as many times as it takes to create a beautiful and realistic depth effect. Since our artwork is uh, 3000 by 2000, which is uh, quite big, it requires a lot of layer copies to create 3D depth. We don't do it manually, we're smart and create a simple Photoshop action. Go to Window, Actions, to open the Actions panel. Create a new action and name it Copy Layer. After they hit the record, it will record every action we do. Let's repeat the familiar algorithm and create a copy of the latest 3D layer, pressing L down, then pressing right. Now, place the layer beneath the one we've just created. Press the stop icon, because our action is ready. Now, by simply pressing the play button, we can create as many layers as we need. That's perfect. Or is it? I think that color of the 3D volume is not perfect, and we should do it lighter. Don't worry, you don't have to adjust all these layers manually. Just fix the layer style for one of them by changing color overlay parameter. Now, copy layer style of this layer, select all the layers left and pass this layer style. Much better. Now it's time to add some shadows. We'll need a new folder for them. And I copy the lowest 3D layer and drag it to the Shadow 1 folder. Clear the layer styles, we don't need them. We'll create the new ones instead. Let's set color overlay to black and apply to the layer Gaussian blur filter with 12 pixel radius. Or 15. Like before, we create a copy moving it one pixel down and one pixel left. This time, the order of the layer is not important. If you feel somehow worried that the color of the shadow is too active and dark, please don't be. Uh, we'll easily change that later. But hey, remember that we're smart designers and we won't waste our time on copying these layers. Instead, we'll create another action. Create a new action and name it Copy Layer 2. Record how you copy the layer by pressing Alt plus Down button and then Left button. Finish the record and use this fresh made action to create 10 copies of the shadow layer. Now we change the blending mode for the folder Shadow 1 to Linear Light and Opacity to 20%. We're almost done. And all that's left is another shadow, but uh, this time we'll create a long, solid shadow, which would be a perfect stylization of the vintage typography. Well, you know the drill. Create a new folder, name it Shadow 2, and place there a copy of the last 3D layer. Don't forget to clear the existing layer style. Create a new one, starting with the color overlay, setting it to a darker grade of our background.
Luckily, we can use pre-made copy layer to action. Remember, it should be really long. Just imagine how much time it would take to create and pan all these layers manually. Great! All that's left is to change the opacity of the Shadow 2 folder to 20% and Blending Mode to Linear Light. Congrats, we're done! It looks fantastic and what's more important, fully editable. All we need to do to customize the title is open a smart object with original text with double click on the layer and change the title like any other text layer. Close, save and check the result. As always, if you have any questions to ask or an idea to share, leave a comment in the section below this video. We would love to have a chat with you. That's it for today. Like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want more design tutorials and inspirational videos. Bye!